Blot out my offense. Oh, wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? that you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. Oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. Oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. 
From my sins turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled, contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Jesus, Son of God, Savior, have mercy on me, a sinner. The friend of the bridegroom rejoices greatly at the bridegroom's voice. O oh, give the Lord, you sons of God, give the Lord glory and power, give the Lord the glory of his name, adore the Lord in his holy court. The Lord's voice resounding on the waters, the Lord on the immensity of waters, the voice of the Lord full of power, the voice of the Lord full of splendor. The Lord's voice shattering the cedar. The Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon leap like a calf, and Syrian like a young wild ox. The Lord's voice flashes flames of fire. The Lord's voice shaking the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The Lord's voice rending the oak tree and stripping the forest bare. The God of glory thunders. In his temple they all cry glory. The Lord sat enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come now and forever. Amen. The friend of the bridegroom rejoices greatly at the bridegroom's voice. Now that you say we see your guilt remains, Sin speaks to the sinner in the depths of his heart, 
There is no fear of God before his eyes. He so flatters himself in his mind that he knows not his guilt. In his mouth are mischief and deceit. All wisdom is gone. He plows the defeat of goodness as he lies on his bed. He has set his foot on evil ways. He clings to what is evil. Your love, Lord, reaches to heaven. Your truth to them from the stream of your delight. In you is the source of life. And in your light we see light. Keep on loving those who know you, doing justice for upright hearts. Let the foot of the proud not crush me, nor the hand of the wicked cast me out. See how the evildoers fall, flung down they shall never arise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Now that you say we see your guilt remains, Who shall not glorify your name, O Lord? Strike up the instruments, a song to my God with timbrels, chant to the Lord with cymbals, sing to him a new song, exalt and acclaim his name. A new hymn I will sing to my God, O Lord, great are you and glorious, wonderful in power and unsurpassable. Let your every creature serve you, for you spoke and they were made. You sent forth your spirit and they were created. No one can resist your work. The mountains to their bases and the seas are shaken. The rocks like wax melt before your glance. But to those who fear you, you are very merciful. Though the sweet odor of every sacrifice is a trifle, and the fat of all holocausts but little in your sight, one who fears the Lord is forever great. Woe to the nations that rise against my people. The Lord Almighty will requite them. In the day of judgment, he will punish them. He will send fire and worms into their flesh, and they shall burn and suffer forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Who shall not glorify your name, O No one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. Bring out your joy to the Lord, O oh you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp, with a ten-string lute sing them songs. Oh, sing him a song that is new, Play loudly with all your skill, for the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, 
and fills the earth with his love. By his word the heavens were made, <clears throat> by the breath of his mouth all the stars. He collects the waves of the ocean, he stores up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord, all who live in the world revere him. He spoke and it came to be. He commanded, it sprang into being. He frustrates the designs of the nations. He defeats the plans of the peoples. His own designs shall stand forever. The plans of his heart from age to age. They are happy whose God is the Lord the people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth, he sees all the children of men. From the place where he dwells he gazes on all the dwellers on the earth. He who shapes the hearts of them all and considers all their needs. A king is not saved by his army, nor a warrior preserved by his strength. A vain hope for safety is the horse. Despite its power, it cannot say. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love. To rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In Him do our hearts find joy. We trust in His holy name. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. No one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. from the book of the prophet Joel. Return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord your God. For gracious and merciful is he, slow to anger, rich in kindness, and relenting in punishment. Mode one. Yeah. 
Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies. From the hands of all who hate us, he promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Dimite nobis Domine, debita nostra, Sigur et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Look upon your family, Lord, that through the chastening effects of bodily discipline, our minds may be radiant in your presence with the strength of our yearning for you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. O shining star of the church, who reflect the Father's love by by revealing to us the mystery of our Lord, eternal fruit of his bosom, source of all life and of all truth, O beloved disciple of the Word made flesh, who at the Last Supper rested your head upon his heart, drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son and the Savior of all. O beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure in the heart of Jesus crucified, 
as in becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, and our infidelities, be our Lord, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by his light, and by the ardor of the wounded heart of the Apostles, under the light giving guidance of the Spirit of Paraclete, in your name, Mother of Jesus, and our Mother.